Chicago Clamp Company proudly introduces a new method for framing roof openings and supporting loads above or below the roof line. The innovative framing clamp system is easy to install and requires no welding nor specialized tools. This video is not to be used in place of the installation instructions. And remember, never lift more than you can comfortably handle. Some installations may require more than one person. Restrict personnel from entering areas where installations are taking place. Always follow local and OSHA safety procedures. Before installing, always check with a structural engineer. Determine the area where the frame will be installed. Structural engineers often require installation of clamps over joist panel points. Check that the space is clear and that the area is open and free of utilities. Check that the roof deck opening is at least one and a quarter inches high and three and a quarter inches wide. The clamp is adjustable for a top joist cord width of up to six inches. You will receive each framing clamp system in two boxes. To begin installation, measure the distance between the bar joists. Please note that the distance between the bar joists must be measured from the inside edge to the inside edge. Now, using the formula in our installation manual, cut the channel to size. First, slide framing clamp number one into the roof deck opening over the bar joist. Attach the framing clamp to the bar joist by tightening the retainer heel clip. Make sure the framing clamp is tight against the joist. Loosely attach framing clamp number two to a main channel, making sure the square heads of the carriage bolts are inserted into slotted holes. Attach the channel to framing clamp number two. Make sure the channel back is toward the area to be framed. Be sure to only use hardware supplied with the clamp system. Taking this channel with the framing clamp attached, insert framing clamp number two into the roof deck opening opposite framing clamp number one. Insert the carriage bolts to attach framing clamp number one to the channel, and then loosely install the nuts and lock washers. Slide framing clamp number two until it is tight against the joist and tighten its retaining clip. Center the channel between the two attached clamps, then tighten the four carriage bolt nuts. Install framing clamp number three and number four and the second main channel using the same method, making sure the back of the channel is toward the area to be framed. Measure the distance between the backs of the two main channels, then cut the two cross channels to size as shown in the installation guide. Install the four T-brackets with the outstanding leg of the T-bracket in line with the area to be reinforced or the opening to be cut. Hand tighten the nuts and lock washers. If the T-bracket overlaps the framing clamp bracket, always have the carriage bolt inserted first through the framing clamp, then the channel, then the T-bracket. Place a flat washer over the T-bracket slot. Bolt the two cross channels to the outstanding leg of the T's opposite each other. Again, with the backs of the channels towards the area to be framed. While the T's and cross channels are installed loosely, adjust the channels and T's to their desired position. Finally, tighten all nuts on carriage bolts. The installation is now complete. Additional cross channels or tubing may be added if desired. See website for details.